so yeah today we are going to build another budget PC the total cost of this PC is $350 exact so we are going to start with the <coughs> uh, GPU is 1060 NVIDIA Aero MSI pretty decent graphic card it's going to run most of the game on high settings in 1080p so basically it's good enough for this setup next thing is case it's Aerocool uh, Aerocool model is Rift it has the LED LED uh, lights lighting and this is the <coughs> transparent side panel uh, for the uh, power supply we are going to use Fortran 500 watts it's going to be decent enough this is used uh, for the memory we are going to use the ballistic 8 GB DDR4 on 2666 megahertz uh, the price of this was uh, RAM was forty dollars a GPU was uh, 105 dollars case was $50 and power supply used was uh, $25 uh, <clears throat> the CPU we are going to use this one Intel Core i5 i5 6500 6, it's 4 core I think it's 8, eight threads I'm not sure uh, I paid for this uh, $70 and it came without the cooler so I bought the LC power for probably five or six bucks it's basically the cheapest you can buy so uh, the SSD is going to be Kingston 240 gigabytes nothing special it cost like $30 and the motherboard we are going to use and the last thing uh, is the motherboard is the Gigabyte H110D3A it's basically pretty much this motherboard is designed for mining but it's pretty good you know it's really decent quality and <clears throat> it's really cheap this is brand new but I bought it uh, from one guy and I paid only $30 everything is inside I got warranty and everything so basically pretty good deal for this motherboard everything as I said everything is new and I got 12 month warranty so yeah let's start building and let's let's see this PC in action So yeah, I was having a little trouble to figure out how to put this uh, cooler, but it's pretty simple. If you have, this is the 1151 socket. So basically you need to put this clip, this plastic clip on the motherboard. You need to press it inside. And then you got uh, four of the screws, plastic screws, and then you just press inside and after that then you mount the cooler on these clips here so here and here it's pretty good looking you know but it's a little small I hope that it's gonna work out fine when it comes to the motherboard uh, it's really decent even got the M2 slot for the SSD and up to 6 GB in second 6 GB per second yeah and the uh, yeah, this is the PC Express and it has like four or five, five of PCI Express 1 and 
it has like decent uh, coolers and basically for this kind of price this is pretty decent motherboard so yeah uh, now uh, now we need to put the RAM and uh, RAM and the that's it that then we can put the motherboard inside the case so yeah the put uh, to put the to install the memory it's pretty easy you just need to find which way is the shorter one and then compare to the motherboard and then just press it inside uh, this is the this motherboard only has two slots so basically this is the 8 gigabytes of stick so uh, you can upgrade only to 16 gigabytes for now but it's pretty good it's it's really for this kind of CPU and that kind of uh, GPU I think that 8 or 16 gigabytes is really good enough so yeah it's going like this yeah. and that's it now let's go put this motherboard CPU and the RAM let's go put it in the case so yeah let me show you the interior of the case so this is the bottom part here uh, here we are going to put the power supply we got screws for the motherboard because you know some some of them are micro ATX ATX or larger ATX so basically we have all instructions here these are the cables pretty standard so power SV reset SV HDD lights and power LED USB 3.0 USB 2.0 and audio and that's pretty much it so yeah let's start assembling this Yeah, so now the last two things, three things that we need to do is the we need to put the GPU, we need to put the power supply, and we need to connect everything, and we need to put the SSD. So let's start with the power supply. 
so you will need to remove the back plate <coughs> Now we can start with the installation of the power supply. So yeah, when I try to install the the power supply, I notice one problem. This power supply does not have the extra four pin, no extra eight pin connector for the motherboard. So I'm going to use another power supply. <laughs> the good thing that I have a spare one. So I have spare one is Antec, Antec. 500 watts I'm going to use this one because this has the double connection for the power supply good thing that I have spare one because you know I I, <laughs> I will be in the huge problem because I need this PC to be built ASAP so yeah now we are going to I'm going to put this uh, power supply and then we can connect everything and finish with uh, this build.
So yeah, we have finished the build. Now we are going to start the PC. We are, <laughs> I hope it's gonna work. Uh, as you can see, sometimes when you build a PC, it's like you never know what, what can happen. In this case, uh, the power supply didn't work. But you know, it's it's used and I didn't check the all the inputs on the motherboard and all the outputs on the power supply so basically i just have the spare one this one is even better <laughs> because it's it's matching with yellow cables so yeah it's like pretty good enough yeah so now i hope that everything's gonna work i have it my biggest concern is this fan for the cpu i hope it's gonna be enough to keep the CPU like in normal temperatures and if not I'm probably gonna need an upgrade of that I have the other one like more expensive but I want to try this cheap one and hope that it's gonna be good enough so yeah basically let's see what we have done and yes one thing that I need to say this is like pretty bad cable management I just wanted to you know to be done as soon as possible because I need to give this PC PC away but you know it's decent enough but it's like it's not the best so uh, if I will have like more time and everything then then I will spend like 30 minutes just to get all the cables like you know to have some sense you know to to be like everything hidden, hidden or you know, uh, think through where to put the cable. So basically, this was like quick, quick install. So yeah, let's see. <clears throat> it's spinning, it's working. So so yeah, it's working. We got a image on the monitor. We need to install the windows and. Yeah, I must admit this looks really, really good. Uh, we can change the colors on this. The green one is probably the best with the room. <laughs> so yeah, basically thanks for watching. I hope that this video was interesting you know so if you want to see more of this or pc repair because i i do a lot of repairs on the older pc uh give uh, this video a like uh please subscribe it means a lot to me so basically thanks for watching see you in the next video